2006, it's been the main hub for British troops based out here in the theatre, and every year it's grown bigger and bigger. But for most of the troops deployed here over the years, they've actually been based out in the Helmen Desert at patrol bases and checkpoints. And it's these smaller bases that will be the first to close down as redeployment intensifies. I'm off to see how it's done. This is Helmand, one of 34 provinces in Afghanistan and one of the most dangerous. In 2011, there were 137 bases dotted around this vast desert, but with PBs being the first to close down at around one per week. By the end of Opera at 17, in around a month's time, there'll only be 14 remaining. Well, this is PB Wahid, and I'm here to see the board operating how they're going to pack up this TV within the next week. 1st Battalion Royal Gurkha Rifles D Company have made this base their home since the start of their tour, but it's now time to pack up. So we can see all this now. Really, today is the day, isn't it, that you're clearing everything up, packing away? Yes, um, the PB is closing. It's, it's, the PB is here since 2007, almost. Um, the we we are we are about to close the PB now, so the boys are really working hard to collapse all the tentes and everything. Now you've been here for five months. Do you feel attached to the PB here? How do you feel seeing it all literally just collapsing? Yeah, so somewhere I'm not feeling very comfortable uh, since we are here um, five five months almost now. This is like our home. Um, I'm not very feeling not very comfortable uh, at the moment. I'm feeling somewhat, a little bit somewhat sad. sad as well, that's right. For every patrol base that closes down, a specialist team called a forward troop from the reverse support chain will be flown in to assist with all the packing and logging of equipment and materiel. Before deploying, the soldiers will have extra training for the role. Most of the guys are drivers by trade, and this, as you'll appreciate, is quite a supply-heavy role. So they had to do sort of the ISO stuffing courses, the container handling courses, um, all arms storming course, those sorts of things, just to ensure that they were up to the required standards so that when they did deploy forward, they could really be of um, assistance to the units here. OK, Ben, so happy that you got it here. Crack on, thanks. Hiya. Hi, Laura, how are you? Yeah, You're good, very good, thanks. So this is forward troop um, from the reverse support chain. And our job is to come here and assist the Gurkha call signs um, to, with the close down of the PB. As you've seen, they've taken down their own tents, and now we specialise in taking, taking it into the, all the individual NSNs, just like we've done here. Give us a hand. Yeah, yeah, sure. Oh. OK, so what, what we're here to do is make sure that all the um, kit is going back in the right condition, um, so it's, so it's work easier for the guys, when it gets back into Bastion, to take it down to make sure it's as efficient as possible. What these two have done at the moment, they've been collecting all the tentage, and uh, now they they pull it onto a crate and they're strapping it down. I'm just going to ask them how much they've put down and I'm going to log that down with the NS, with the latest stock number. Depending on the size of the patrol base depends on how long it takes to all come down. Well, that's it. PB life for the Gurkhas is now over, as they're pretty much all packed up and ready to go. In the next couple of days, they'll be going right back to basics, eating ration packs and sleeping under ponchos, just as you can see behind me. Now, the Gurkhas have been here for over five months, so there is a sense of sadness. But ultimately, it's a success, as the Afghan forces can now take over. Tomorrow, I'll be following the Combat Support Logistic Regiment as the troops move the stuff from the PB here back to Bastion.